Welcome back to Faster Than Fred. Where we left off, we got pretty messed up before we jumped to this mantid sector. Um, I just had Robo Dre go and fix a breach over here. Uh, apart from that, not much else to say other than welcome back to Faster Than Fred Thursdays. So, this sector, I'm thinking of heading along the bottom here and then just sort of tapping, dotting between these guys till I reach the end. Last time I had some uh, FPS issues uh, and I, I still don't know what's wrong with them, what's causing it. Uh, the Mantis Hillyve, the captain says, I claim this vessel for my clan. Good hunting. Okay, they're going to pop a guy over here because they have extra crew. So what I'm going to do is blast on their weapons. Get him in there. Open these doors and starve them out while my guns go crazy on them. Uh, and hopefully I can just take these guys down without taking too much damage. Now these guys are in here, they're still going to be taking more damage from uh, the lack of air. Just put him in here. And hopefully these guys will... There we go. Now we're going to get the air back on. Their weapons are well and truly going offline. Crunch. Let's get that focusing there and that focusing there as well. Oh, he's coming back over. They're going to come back over for another trip. With an engine. Oh, back where they were. They're learning. They're adapting. Right, I need to take this offline. Okay, I need to bring him out of here. Put him in there. out of there, because now these guys have no air, he should be able to take them on their own. They're dead, we get three fuel, one missile, 44 scrap. These guys are all going to die before uh, he does. Let's uh, get everybody back into... Oh, no. No, no. You go back in there. You stay hidden in here. Fred, stay hidden in here. Let's get the air back on and let's shut up all these doors so we can get our... So people aren't just going to suffocate themselves to death. Next, I'm going to be upgrading my engines once more. And trying to get maybe another weapon. Okay. So again, I'm just going to dot along the bottom here. Hmm. How are you guys? Oh, there's intruders. Wonderful. What I always wanted on my ship. These guys should be dead pretty quickly. Yeah, I think he should actually be able to take these guys and get himself some uh, good fight. Aiden, come on, take him out. Get himself some good uh, fighting combat, fighting experience. I think, just because it's a mantid sector, I'm going to have to keep my guy. Uh, a mantid ship engages a civilian. Ugh, a mantid ship engaging a civilian hails you. Sparks fly about his cockpit as he yells, Stay out of this human, else you are next. Aid the civilian ship. They don't have a teleporter, good. You frown, power up the weapons and prepare to engage the mantid ship. Not today. Doesn't need to be in there, so we're going to get him more shield XP, because we need the guy with shields. That'd be useful for us. Whew. 
Come on. There we go, that's them dead. Uh, we get a good amount of everything. Contact them. Oh, and they repair us a little bit as well. It's brilliant. This texture is becoming increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation. I think my crew can patch up some of your hull as damage as... Whole, some of your hull damage as thanks. I can speak English. He said that I can't. Pfft. Don't listen to him. He's a liar. The store and I just blew all my money. Yeah, so I'm going to hit a few sec hit a few areas before I hit the store. There's an intruder on deck. Uh, okay. A young man in a charred uniform has teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already tra traced tra the teleporter signal. I will offer him up for a bounty. The NG captain is delighted and quickly arranges the transfer of the prisoner. Chances are, he was lying. I've, I've had that many times before, and more often than not, he is just straight up lying to you and is not interested in helping you. This isn't good. That's very not good. And all of their things are hard for a flat cannon to target. Ah, just don't take power from my weapons. That's all you need to do. Yep, shields are no use to give it. keep the O2 online. Nope, these guys are as good as dead. Yeah, these guys are done. Good beam weapon, pal. <sighs> I'm just using Joel as a bit of an every a bit of a an everything for me. He's just sort of gonna go where he's needed, do whatever I need him to do at the time. I'm on. I need to jump, otherwise I'm just going to keep getting eye on. Everything's fixed and everything will be back up soon, so... You fancy you see something moving the shadows of the beacon, but all remains still to the store. Ooh, that's cutting it close. We need to put some distance between us and the enemy. Page 2. Repair arm. That's nice, because it can really just help keep you alive. Uh, weapons are nicer. Too power for it. That's two power as well. I think a whole beam is better. Maybe even a fire beam. Yeah, I think I think fire beams the way to go with this. And two power, I think. Ship equipment. No, 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 no. Your ship. Two ninety, a hundred and ninety to upgrade it by two power. But I think getting a fire beam will be very useful for me. Also, I can disable. If I upgrade this once, I am actually going to fix my ship right now. Don't really need fuel, so I'm good on that front. If I disable that, I can just up my firepower output quite drastically. Ha! Firepower, because it's a fire beam. Of course. The distress signal is coming from a small station. Space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has completely gone haywire, and the repair crew can't approach. I will help you. I will ion weapon them and get a lot of free good stuff. Use your ion weapon to disable the guns long enough for the repair crew to fix it. They message you. I've never seen a weapon like that before. Thank goodness for your help. Please accept this reward, and a wonderful reward that is as well. Actually, yeah, get them shields up, and. I still have an extra power, so I'll just power that. Um, I want to dot around this sector, maybe an extra one more than I should, just try and get a bit more fuel. You did. It's Mantis. Fry open. I get a guy. I get me a guy. He can chill in here. A distress. Then I think I have to hit the exit after this. I don't really think I have a choice now. Um. Pirates stuck between rocks again. We've, we've been through this as well. Dislodge them. I get scrap, but take two damage. Scrap's worth it. I now have to get out of here. My weapons are broke. No, I should have waited before jumping. I wait. There's nothing here. Uh, four fuel for two. 
I don't need those. I don't need them even a little bit, so sorry everybody. There's a distress that I want to check out, but I can't without having to fight uh, the enemy fleet, and I really don't want to have to fight the enemy fleet. Because that's just no good for me. I'm just I'm just a bit low at the moment. I'm not low, but I just don't think I have... If they come at me with level 4 shields, I'm going to have to blast them with both of these before I can even get that through to them. So I'm going to hit the next sector. I think I've dealt with enough Mantis recently, but I could do with the civilian sector before we hit the next, before we hit the final wave. So I'm going to go this way. Uh, we've already know the generic Mantis. I'm going to do two today, guys, in this playthrough. Well, two sectors right now. And then I'll do the last two as one as well. Okay. Rebel ship is guarding the beacon. You order a pursuit course and prepare to scratch up one more. Okay. A level 3 shield, they have a 40% evade chance and level 3 shields they have a flak and oh they have a lot of good weaponry. They've got what I've got but just a better version of that. Ooh, Dodges! Son of a bitch. Uh, no, that, that just didn't work. Gotta get the O2 online. These guys have got incredibly good. Dude, stop taking my O2 offline. Don't be that guy. Nope, fire beam won't go through because they have this whole fire beam thing isn't going so well considering I've not actually been able to use it once. Okay, I've set fire to their engines. This is good. Now the crew is going to be a bit distracted. There we go. Just set fire to all of that. Uh, dual lasers him. I think I can just keep fire beaming because these guys are all going to burn to death. Did I get them all? No, I think they all. I think they just burnt to death. What? 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 I don't know what just happened. I don't know if they jumped or if they all died. I'm. I am confused. Fix that. Fix that. Both of you now. They need to stop taking... They they really wanted my air offline. They were desperate to, to, to get rid of that. I think actually upgrading my air might be a good way to go right now. Just so it stays a bit more alive. I think if I can... Yeah. Up, up. Down for the distress. That's the plan for now. Okay. Another pod fry open. Ah, oh, replacement weapons guy. Wonderful. He can just be my go to defense guy then. How do I hit the store? I'm going to hit here. Basically, if I have over 100, I hit the store. If less than, I hit the. Okay, this is good. A stream of clicks and gurgling comes from the comms from a hostile mounted scout. The universal translator might be on the blink, but the, his intent is obvious. They have teleports. They're in there. Get him in there. There we go. Now these guys are just going to suffocate in there. Uh, that, that, on there. Okay, I've set, good, set a good fire off in there. I killed one of them. Do they, what do they have? They have the clone bay. Okay. Is 
set a, set a fire off in there. Ah, uh, they're gonna die when that then that burns out. So I've won. That's gonna get damaged and then just gonna die. The moment any of the systems break, they're dead. But let's just finish them off anyway, because it's taking a while to do so. There we go. Forty three. Okay, I said over a hundred I hit the store. I'm hitting the store. I'm a man of my word, people. Hey, oh, travellers, these are dangerous times. Perhaps you find yourself in need of our services. He appears to be a trader. Automated reloader. Oh, I have a lot. That This is all good stuff for me. How many do I have? I have a mantid, a human. One, two, three. I could go four. No, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to clear that. Get me the automated reloader. Uh, a reverse ion field. Can't afford it. Automated reload is good though. It just means that I just it takes less time for me to reload things, which is of course very good to have, especially on something on a flat cannon, dual lasers. It basically means that I think now I have like an extra like forty percent cooldown reduction in total of all my weapons. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not want to engage your ship. Demand the surrender of goods. They're gonna run. Wonderful. Let's see if I can fire beam these guys up. Oh, okay, they're gonna do that. Get rid of all that the air. So the room that they're desperately trying to get into. Ah, curse you and your shields. Oh no. That's bad. That's so very bad. Disregard that, pal. Fix this. Okay, everybody get out of there. The fire's too much, apparently, for my crew. Just drain the O2 from it, because that's all we can really do right now. These guys are going to jump away, and everything's just... Fucks. That's what happens when one stray missile hits your weapons. You are fucked. And there's pretty much nothing you can do about it. Oh well. Get on the them. Just need everyone to fix everything right now. Uh, did not go well. Did not go well. You two go fix it as well, because this is taking a long time. Oh, I need to save whether all these guys live now. Save. Jump. Ugh. My everyone got messed up pretty rough by all that. There's nothing here but some un uninhabitable planetoids. Wonderful. Can't get to the distress. A mantis... A mantid female comes on the vid screen. The females don't make it to authority unless they're particularly vicious. You power your weapons. Ideally, I just want this room to run out of air before they even get to it. They're trying to get through their one door, so they're going to break their way in there to a room that's, one, already open to them, and two, now has no air in it. Just 
Just not gonna hit anything. Just not gonna be able to get us through the shields. Nope, not able to do anything. Because of course, why would I be able to do anything? I mean, why would that be fair that I can, you know, hit them once? Getting a bit pissed off at this now. These guys have got absurdly good shields and absurdly good dodge chance. There, hopefully the fires do something. Fires, please do something. There, now that we've got no, none of their dodge, I can focus on other things. There. Gotcha, fuckers. Explosive with useful material. Distress, hit up distress, and hit for the exit, I think. Once everyone's repaired everything. It's only the the cameras that doesn't really need repairing too drastically. I think we're fine just to carry on. Again, pirate struck mining. Dislodge the ship by shooting it for free scrap. Been doing that since sector one or two, I think. Oh, this is not good. Your cockpit lights up with with warning lights. You are being targeted by a nearby ship. The distress call was alert to attract unwilling ships into weapons range. You prepare for a fight. These guys are definitely going to have... Come on, do the thing. Just waiting for them to teleport aboard, because I know that they're gonna. There they are. Just let these, these rooms run out of air. Just immediately shut that door once they... Ah, uh, no go there. Started our fire, which is better than nothing, I mean, you know. This is going to be a tough fight. I mean, I, I think I can just sort of... Two fires in there. No, if these guys can die. Party stations. Oh, right. Okay. Now I can actually fire beam effectively. There we go. Just set all the ship on fire. He got some shield level up. This is all good. Okay. Uh Right. Uh This is getting a bit rough right now. And no, people need to not call me. Um, you find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Just strip it, I think. Do I need two? I do need two for that. Okay. At least I can power that now with an extra three power. I think if I can drop down one more, I'm going to drop down one before I head back up to clear the sector. Go on then. Yeah, I can drop them and go back up and I should be fine still. Let's see what this has to offer. There's intruders. Ah, what everybody always wants. Just manted. Because there's nothing says fuck you than four manted teleporting aboard your ship. You stay in there. Let's 
let's just play the kiting game with these guys. Turn all the air off and just have these guys suffocate before they can actually get anywhere. There we go. That's how you deal with a fucked and a mantid teleporting onto your ship. You just hide and drain them of air. That's what you do. You hide and drain them of air. Okay. Oh, I'm very low on fuel. Maybe I shouldn't have done that deal. Okay. Mantid? No, we're going to NG because I don't want to fight any more Mantid. This means I'm probably not going to get much fuel for it. I need 60. No, 90. Okay. I'm going to leave it here now, guys, and we can finish this off next next time. Thanks for watching.